Hey, Curtis, uh, Andrew with MMA Sucker. I'm just curious to know, how do you feel uh, coming into this PFL? Uh, I don't know if you've ever done tournament type uh, matches before. If you haven't, how do you feel about this, uh, the structure and format? I'm very excited about the structure. Um, I f I have four fights to a million dollars. So you don't get no better than that. Thank you very much. No problem. Next question, Harry. Hey, Curtis, Harry Mack from the Bookie's Basement. So I just wanted to ask you, hypothetically, if somebody owned some signed Curtis uh, Melender memorabilia and you were to go on and win the PFL welterweight title, not only would you win seven figures, do you think maybe also hypothetically those people would make some money too? Exactly, man. It's the, the price is definitely going to shoot up on the Curtis Melender stock after this. It's good to know. Good to know. And, and, and speaking of the price shooting up, you're a, a plus 360 underdog right now in Vegas going into this fight. So do you feel disrespected like that at all? Do you feel like people maybe aren't giving you uh, enough credit coming into this fight? No, I don't take it as disrespect at all. You know, uh, he's done a lot in the sport. I still have a lot to do in the sport. I just have to, you know, show them that they need to work on the mods and anybody that cashes in on me, I need my 10%. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, thank you very much. And I'd also like to tell you that your Instagram makes me laugh very regularly. But good, good luck awesome. on Thursday. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Up next, let's go with Chris Santiago. Hi, Curtis. Chris from MMA Island here. Um, you and Rory are both coming from Bellator. So, like, what can you say about his uh, time in Bellator and especially his title reign? You know... <sighs> I wouldn't say he had the most exciting uh, run in Bellator, but he had a draw and a few and mostly decisions. So uh, I wouldn't say it was the best Rory we've ever seen. Um, you know, he had some success because he won the belt there, but you know, the the Rory that was exciting and of the past, the UFC Rory, that's the one. That's that's the Rory that I want on Thursday. Got it. And do you think this is the biggest fight of your career so far? Oh, definitely, hands down, the biggest fight of my uh, of my life. So, I'm I'm really going to cash in and make them make the most of it. Thanks, Curtis. Best of luck. Thank you. Up next, Ronald. This is Ronald E. Smith from Getting Real Curse. How you doing? I'm um, great, sir. How are you? I'm doing very well. I just want to ask you this question for yourself. As everyone knows, who Roy McDonald is, he has his name. It's been on the game for so. It's been on on the game for so long. How do you keep in your mind not the name, but just look at him as a fighter? You know, um, I look every. I look at everybody as uh, you know, everybody is a man. Everybody I fight is a man. He has two arms, two legs. I just gotta go out there and do what I'm confident in myself in doing, and this it's, it's gonna be just like I wanted to be. Go out there and be dominant and finish Rory. And since you will be on ESPN two, for the for the new fans who will check it out, what do you what do they need to know? Who Curtis is? Man, uh, high level striking, crazy speed, and crazy creativity in there. That's all we need to know. We'll see you then. Um, hi, Curtis. Hamid Mia from MMA Diagnosis. Um, I was just wondering, when you got that call from the PFL, I mean, Roy McDonald, main event, and a chance to win a million dollars this year, what was going through your head? Dream fight, dream money, dream, dream opportunity. And I uh, just got to make it a reality. I've, I've always wanted to fight Roy. I've always seen myself beating Roy for years. So... Uh, it, it wasn't. It wasn't a. It wasn't. It was a surprise, of course. But I wasn't shocked. I didn't get nervous. This, this is what I wanted. Do, do you feel like uh, Rory's the number one seed in this kind of welterweight? Absolutely division? not. Uh, right. It's the it's the disrespect that they're giving Ray Cooper right now is crazy. He he's a champ. He should be the number one seed. Um, but uh, I'm gonna be both of them. So to me, I'm the number one seed. All right. Thank you, Curtis. Good luck for your fight. Thank you. Hey, what's going on, Curtis? How you doing? I'm great. I already like yours. Head kick audio. That's right in my alley. <laughs> That's it, buddy. Okay, so we know that you bring uh, a fan-friendly fighting style 
um, you know, with your fights. And we know that sometimes you've struggled with wrestlers and, and grapplers. So in this time off, before you got the opportunity to step in here for, uh, uh, for PFL, have you shored any of that up? And, uh, you know, what are you looking for, uh, for this season? Yes, I definitely did. Uh, I went out and spent uh, two months in Arizona at Fight Ready with Eric Anders, helping him get ready for his last fight. And uh, you guys know who Eric, he's a big dude. So um, his game plan was to get a lot of takedowns in his fight. So I spent eight weeks getting pushed and bullied around by by Eric Anders. And there's a few other guys out in Arizona, uh, Ray Waters, uh, Ryder Newman, who's actually on the Ultimate Fighter this season that were really helping me out, pushing me. And then of course my team back home at CSW. Um, so I, I'm just going to, I got to go out there and show that I've been working on those things. I had to get back to the roots because I started with wrestling. So it, it's no excuse why I should be, you know, having these guys getting these takedowns and just holding me down. But it did also help me because if they're going to take me down and just hold me down, I know there's that fear in their heart because standing up with me is just a different, a different animal. Thank you very much, sir. Ray Waters is a stud. Yes. Yes, indeed. Breeze. Hey, this is Breeze with the MMA Breeze. So like you said, getting back to your grappling, what do you think uh, is your best uh, path to victory against Rory McDonald here with this fight. You said you spent a lot of time with your grappling. Of course, that's going to be anticipated. Are you looking to, to, to show off your improvements or are you, would you rather just get in there and knock them out and get out? Oh, definitely get in there and knock them out and get out. But you know, there's, it, it can possibly be a time where he can get close enough to try and I'm just going to stuff him and beat him up. That's, that's all it is. Stuff those shots. Uh, make him die for things, make him desperate for those takedowns. He has to, he's going to be, I have to put that fear in his heart with, with my striking to where he's diving and doing anything he can for those takedowns. So uh, we can get a highlight reel knockout from him being desperate. And do you feel any pressure to, with a big name like Roy McDonald to finish this with a, a highlight reel? Um, not really, no pressure, you know, like I said, I've always wanted to fight him and I've always seen myself beating him. But, you know, I debuted in the UFC against Tiago Alves and Tiago Alves was one of my heroes growing up in this fight game. And, uh, and you've seen what I did to him. So, like, the name means nothing. The the person means nothing. Uh, I'm, I'm going out there to beat him up just like I would do anybody else. Awesome. Thank you, man. Good luck. Thank you. Done. Hey there, Curtis. How's it going? Uh, great, sir. How are you? I'm doing well, thanks. I was just kind of curious because in our prior interview, we were kind of talking about how you were the matchmaker at Fight Club OC for a period. Just with this PFL welterweight field here, can you put on the matchmaker hat a little bit and talk about your thoughts on some of these different matchups in the welterweight ranks? Uh, you know, I, I've been so focused on this fight that I don't know really who's fighting who outside of Ray Cooper and I believe the the guy from France, correct? Yeah. Um, you know, I I'm a, I like Ray Cooper, and I think that fight next for me will be awesome. Just because I would love to take out the best two guys in the tournament in the in the season first. And uh, but the, the tall guy from Sweden that that's like that that that, that fight really intrigues me. <laughs> I would love to fight with him too. Next, Roz. Hey, how are you? This is Raz from Everything MMA Era. So um, just kind of touching on, on this Rory fight, what do you think uh, kind of separates you from Rory um, on Thursday night? And um, how do you see the fight ending? Definitely would knock out um, or TKO. The difference is uh, the, the speed and the ability I have with my lead hand as far as how creative my jab is and how fast my cross is. Uh, if he hasn't fixed that head movement thing, it's, I don't, I don't even see him making it to the June fight because I'm, I'm coming to smash that nose all the way up. Okay. And then following up on that, um, how would you see that speed going against Roy Cooper? 
Uh, can you say that one more time? Sorry. So just kind of to follow up on that in terms of kind of what separates you from it. So um, how would you see kind of these attributes and everything you've went through against Ray Cooper in a potential fight? I think it's worse for him because he has to come to me and he showed in his fights where he, you know, he'll die for those takedowns. He'll, he'll football tackle to get those, those, those double legs. I'm waiting for that. That's a, that's a fastball down straight down the plate. I'm knocking, I'm knocking that out the park. Okay. Okay. Well, best of luck on Thursday. Thank you. Up next, Alex, Cage Press. Hi, Curtis. Alex from Cage Side Press. Um, do you think that, um, you know, you, you staying active and fighting twice in 2020 um, will, will give you an advantage over Rory, who was on the sidelines? You know, I'm not a, a, a huge believer in ring rust, but, uh, you know, definitely how his last fight ended and him having that year off. You know, he probably got a lot of time to heal up the little nagging injuries. Um, so I'm 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 sure he's going to come out and, you know, put his all, but his all isn't going to be enough. Thank you and good luck. Thank you. Mason? Hi, Curtis. This is Mason from the Sports Sesh podcast. How are you doing today? I am great, sir. That's great to hear. Obviously, as we all know, your opponent, Rory, has been in some of the greatest fights we've seen, most notably with in his second fight with Robbie Lawler. Knowing that your opponent has been through these wars, does that make any pressure, any more pressure to yourself? No, uh, not at all, because, you know, I, I always prepare for war. Like, I'm always prepared to go to war, but I say it all the time. I am a sniper on the top of the bell tower. I'm not getting, I'm not going in there for war. I'm trying to land these shots, not get touched, and put you down. So well, um, seeing him going through those wars, that's just, oh, that means I'm just going to be able to shoot him a whole lot. And what would a PFL title mean to yourself? Uh, man, it don't mean the world, man. Just the 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 title, the money. Uh, it's it's a blessing. Like this, those are things my family needs right now. My legacy needs right now. So uh, it'll mean a lot. Thank you, sir, and I can't wait to see you come fight night. Thank you. Drew. Hey, Curtis. Drew Pierce, FightLeague.com. What does it feel like to finally being able to make your PFL debut and on top of it being the headlining event of the entire night? Oh, man, that's uh, it's awesome. You know, coming up on a club show, uh, I was always the main event. You know, I, I ele uh, main event at LF LFA a few times. But, uh, you know, being the main event on ESPN is it's a big deal. And uh, I'm excited to go out there and, you know, display to the millions uh, what I can do. Thanks, man. No problem. Tariq. Hey, Curtis, how you doing? This is Tariq with the Havoc Hour. Just wanted to, uh, I heard you mention uh, Sada Boussi. He's the guy from Sweden. Uh, how do you feel you match up against him? Oh, man, I've been, hey, he's he's a big dude, but I've been looking at them little skinny legs. Oh, I will chew them things up. <laughs> That sounds good, man. Maybe we'll, we'll see it. Good luck on Thursday. Thank you. How's it going, Curtis? Uh, great, sir. Uh, you know, from father to father, congrats on that third son of yours. Has that, how's that affected your uh, camp right now? Uh, it not not too much. You know, he um he comes to the gym with me, and then uh, <laughs> this whole distance learning thing. Anyway, my boys they're not in school the whole time, so I have my ten year old and my six year old with me to uh, help out and help him out at the gym. Uh, so we just lock him in the cage and <laughs> go to train. <laughs> I mean, all, just all three of my sons have been gym babies. So they've, I've been doing this for a long time. So uh, we, we have a, we have a, uh, a routine. That's beautiful. Uh, so you actually mentioned work with Eric out at Fight Ready. So is that where most of your camp has been spent for this one as well? Uh, no, you know, I was already back home and uh, I took mm -hmm. the, the opportunity, not really on short notice, but I had for two weeks, I thought I was just an alternate. So I was just getting ready at home. Um, I did fly down to uh, Arizona for to get some sparring. And I went to go work with Ray, uh, Ray Waters. Um, nice. And then uh, you know, I came back up and the next week they told me that I was officially in. So 
uh, most of my camp was has been here <laughs> in Beautiful. Atlanta City for the most part. <laughs> Congrats on everything for the last year. Good luck. Thank you. Mike Hello, Curtis. This is Michael from Mike Owens Media. In your opinion, where do you think you have the biggest advantage over Rory McDonald in terms of MMA skill sets? Uh, just definitely standing in that range. Actually, and, and standing standing at range or in the pocket. Um, I'm. I believe I'm very, very, very nasty inside the clinch, inside inside of range, short distances, uppercuts and hooks. Um, for a tall guy, I'm really good, and that just goes to you know idolizing guys like Floyd, who can hit you at any distance. So uh, definitely standing. Best of luck for Thursday night. Thank you. Thank you so much, Curtis. I appreciate you coming out today. No problem. Wait. You guys have a great day.